Yes, we know, these are not exact, perfect, direct competitors. Not in this specification anyway, but the nameplates are listed in the same class according to the Federal Chamber of Automotive Industries in Australia. Think of it as a sexy 200 grand sports car comparison. And after all, these two, in this specification, promise a 0 to 100 time of exactly 4.9 seconds each. Starting with the Jaguar, it recently received a design facelift. It looks sleeker than before, with pinched headlights and a wider opening front grille. It looks more purposeful in our opinion, but it may have lost some of the charm of the original F-Type. You still get a long and imposing bonnet, with the cabin set behind the center point following a tradition set by the classic E-Type. Fortunately, the same sexy curves carry over, including for the huge rear haunches. The front to rear width ratio is actually more pronounced in the F-Type compared with even a Porsche 911. It's fat. Going for the V6 variant means you get twin centrally mounted exhausts, which we think look way cooler than the outboard exhausts on the V8 models. In Australia, the V8 is only available with all-wheel drive. If you want rear-wheel drive, with arguably more authentic sports car characteristics, you have to go for the V6 or the four-cylinder. The P380 V6 comes with staggered wheel sizes front and rear, with 255-35 tyres on the front and whopping 295-30s on the back. Jaguar fits Pirelli P0, while Lexus uses Michelin Pilot Super Sport. Check out this Lexus. It's definitely a more extravagant design. During our test, we noticed it turned more heads than the Jaguar, but part of that is probably due to it being a convertible and a newer model. The green and tan colour combination on this test car also stands out against the smart and sophisticated silver featured on the Jag. It might look quite big on screen and on paper, but it's actually not as gigantic as it seems. The LC is 300mm longer than the F-Type though, but yes, the F-Type is wider by just 3mm. The F-Type also sits 39mm lower in terms of roof height. All LC models are rear-wheel drive and this V8 example features stunning 21-inch alloy wheels. They're wrapped in 245-40 front and 275-35 rear tyres. The fact the tyres are not quite as wide as those on the Jag gives you some clues of the handling characteristics. Jaguar hasn't really done that much with the interior for the new model. It's still a nice driver's office, with a new touchscreen interface mounted on the driver-focused dash fascia. We love the little digital screens for the climate controls and the very low and hunkered down seating position. A fully digital instrument cluster replaces the old mechanical dials. There is limited storage around the place and the F-Type is not available with four seats. Again, the Lexus is clearly going for wow factor with its interior. It is breathtaking. Over the top, maybe, but if you're spending this much on a car, maybe you want over the top. All of the controls and switch gear have a pleasingly solid and high quality feel to them, and the materials throughout are top notch. It is a shame Lexus is persisting with its very fiddly and, frankly, annoying touchpad controller system for the media interface. But other than that, it's hard to complain in here. The LC500 does feature two rear seats, but there is very limited legroom available. Speaking of space, the Jaguar wins in this department. Although, this example does not feature the space sapping spare wheel, which is usually mounted right in the middle of the boot. Even if you compare this to the LC500 Coupe, which presents 197 litres, the Jag still edges ahead. At the pointy end, the Jaguar's 3-litre supercharged V6 can't match the belting power level of the V8 in the Lexus but the Jag is around 400 kilograms lighter. That's a lot, and it makes a difference out on the road. Even the LC500 Coupe is 300 kilograms away. Over in the Lexus is undoubtedly one of the greatest sounding V8s of all time. It is such a glorious and empowering soundtrack. The Jaguar also gives off a very spirited bark, especially for a V6, and it's available with a switchable exhaust valve. Anyway, we'll let you be the judge. This is what they go like.
Mm-hmm. 